launching New Center 5 at 11. A devastating diagnosis. Out of the estimated 100 people worldwide that have San Filippo syndrome type C, three live in Belmont. And tonight we bring you one local family story of courage and hope. For Belmont parents Paul and Nancy Burke, the worrying never stops. They have vision problems, they have orthopedic problems, they have heart problems. Yeah, it's a constant stress. But the love and support doesn't stop either. They get up every single day with a smile on their face, even though each day is so challenging for them that how can we not get up with a smile on our faces? It all started when the oldest of their three girls, Jillian, started having trouble in school at six years old. Everything was absolutely fine prior to that. But Jillian's health kept getting worse, and it would be another three years before the Burks were finally told why. This is really one of the one of the most terrible diseases uh, that, that, that exists. Jillian had San Filippo syndrome type C, the rarest form of an already rare genetic disease that destroys a person's central nervous system. Researchers estimate just 100 people worldwide have this, and the Burks soon found out daughters Lindsay and Kelsey did too. A material accumulates in the body, uh, in the brain, unfortunately, but it also uh, causes some other abnormalities. Uh, such as coarse and facial features. With no cure and no treatments, the Burks were told all they could do was take the girls home and love them. And at that time, they told us the average life expectancy was 14. Because you're so shocked and your heart is like ripped out of you. You can't give into it or wallow in it because you have a family to take care of. Step one. Over the years, the Burks have had to watch the children they once knew slip away. They played basketball, they soccer, mm -hmm. um, they rode horses, they did everything. We got to know them. We got to know the people that we thought that they were going to be. Jillian, their happy little sunshine. Lindsay, sweet and curious. Kelsey, the spitfire of the family. Fast forward to today. Hi, Kels. Hi. And all three have cognitive impairments, trouble communicating, and balance issues. Lindsay has a feeding tube. But despite it all, their sweet spirit and strength still shine through. All three girls, now in their 20s, are beating the odds. And we still believe that something can be done, that they can have a future, and that things can be reversed. A cure? I don't know if it's too late for them, but uh, maybe some other parent wouldn't have to go through this. San Filippo is what's called an orphan disease, and that means there aren't any pharmaceutical companies working on treatments, and neither is the government. So the Burks are pounding the pavement by themselves, working very hard to raise awareness and also money for research that they hope could save their girls' lives. If you'd like to find out how you can help, go to our website, wcvb.com.